Jason. Uh, well, mine's gonna be a little probably different than most everybody else in the sense that since I'm I'm spending that night, I kind of want my work kind of near me because I, I've done events where I, where I, I DJ and I can't really talk about my art mm -hmm. because I'm you know, I'm busy I'm busy doing that, but. I would like it to be kind of near me, so wherever, you know, I guess I need to kind of really kind of figure out where I'm going to be, or we'll figure that out at yeah. some point. And uh, I would like my work kind of, not behind me, but I guess on each side of me, and uh, I would have like my own captions of, of what the work means to me, how I came, you know, came to it, and I, I'll do all that myself. Do you have in your mind any of the paintings you want to bring, or any of oh, yeah. uh, so, the so you already know. Now, I have uh, maybe, of all my pieces, I think maybe only one has been in a, in a mono art show. And it'll probably be one of my uh, pieces that are like music and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I don't know which one, but I have a kind of a series of like five or six uh, uh, drawing, ink drawings with uh, mm -hmm. band members. I, I have one that I, I, I saw, I saw when I was cleaning up, uh, when I was moving. And this one that I forgot I had, and it was a, a singer. And her name was Vol V O E uh, Cully C G L O Y, which is basically both of them. And uh, I'm gonna put that one in there, and it's kind of a uh, this representational of my love for music. And uh, when I draw, mostly I listen to female singers, because I like to imagine that they're singing to me or whatever. <laughs> but, but so you know, so I'm, I'm gonna put that in. There. I, I was listening. I, I was listening to a lot of uh, Jocelyn Brown, the singer named Jocelyn Brown. And, and I kind of got this image from listening to her music a lot. And, uh, so uh, I'm going to put that one in there. Uh, okay. Another piece called uh, Two Old Men, which is, since it's me, myself, and I theme, I grew up hanging around a lot of like older, elderly people. And I remember just seeing like these two, these old guys, like in the barbershop or just where pool halls, places like that, you know, we sneak in mm -hmm. and, and see the old guys and they've been there arguing. And, cussing each other out and then they'll be friends again and like you know a few seconds later and I did this piece uh finished it this year where it's these two old guys and they're like sitting down at this table and one guy's kind of reading the newspaper and the other guy's lighting uh one of those old uh, old big bowl pipes yeah and he's kind of looking kind of mean kind of like he's trying to stress the point and the other guy's kind of like you know whatever man you know but it's kind of like it's a caption of life seeing these two older guys uh, just you know, chilling out. Um, that piece, and uh, I'm also working on a, uh, a piece called "Bought and Sold: uh, The Privatization of the American uh, Prison System," and which is kind of a um, representation of like the knowledge I've gained about the uh, uh, privatization of prisons, where larger corporations are are funding the building of prisons. And uh, there was also a guy, a judge in Pennsylvania, that recently uh, got caught. Uh, sending these young kids to prison, uh, giving them higher sentences so they right. can actually work in in, uh, in, in, uh, in prisons and, and, and produce products that are sold in some stores or whatnot. So I have a piece that's kind of depicting how uh, some of the schools are being closed down, but at the same time, prisons are being built and how these children are, are being taken out of the schools and almost you know directed towards a life of crime, so to speak, so they can go to prison and, uh, and, and then Produce things that are sold to the general public, almost like a, like they're mining or or, 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 or raising a slave, potential or slaves in the prison system. So that's kind of all those things. Kind and of. And how does that relate to? You? Well, it's because of my political work. I do a lot of work that that kind of has that kind of message. So I kind of hitting everybody like with different, you know, different things, like right. different bits of, of who I am, you know. So you know, just that. And I guess when they're up, I like to be up against a gray wall because most of my work is a. Uh, Black and white pen and ink, mm -hmm. uh, black frame, white or gray mat, or light gray mat. So I, I like to kind of have it up against like a gray wall. And it makes it pop real good. And most of my equipment is all black, so it's, everything is kind of just popping out, you know, mm -hmm. at you. But it's not color, but it's just, but it still mm -hmm. pops out at you. So I'm very strategic with how I like my work to be presented. And I think with this show, we're going to have your artwork where you are. I think that's the excellent idea because it gives. It gives you as an artist a chance to explain your pieces mm -hmm. to people that come to you instead of you having to run it, you know, this is my piece over here, and then, you know, it's 20 other pieces, and you get to the other people. It's more you. So mm -hmm. if it's me, myself, and I, you have your own space, and you can be very strategic, you know, about how you want to present, you know, yourself. So, you know, don't take my idea. Do your thing, because <laughs> you might, something else might work totally for you, but 
I'm like I've, I've had experience where I'm DJing and I'm and I'm showing at the same time, so it's, it's kind of difficult. But I mean, I, I, I can handle it, you know. But it's, it's just and I, and I want the vibe. It'll be music that inspires some of the pieces, you know, at, at strategic times. You may know or may not know when I'm doing it, but it, it'll be pieces that music that I listen to when I'm actually working on artwork. So I kind of want to add that element also to the DJ and also since that's, you know, another form of art. So. Thank you. Great. Well, make sure you know, the music is exciting because that art is going to be depressing. You ever heard me DJ, you want to say that, bro. <laughs> so, who else? Who's next who'd like to talk about their layout? Justin? Um, I'll have uh, basically three sets um, of pieces going in. Um, series one, it'll be called Hands of Doom. Um, hands of Doom are basically uh, cartoon hands, and they'll be holding violent weapons. Um, this is my homage to old school classic cartoons that used to come on back in the 50s and up until the 80s. Um, Basically, just is just an influence on my life and what I like as far as bold illustrations, bold lines, um, colors, and the humorous aspect of cartoons and animation. Um, just to give an homage to that, and, I'll, and I'm gonna just encompass my style, showcasing these paint, showcasing these paintings and and these hands. Um, whereas with series two, <clears throat> it'll be uh, the pieces that I had at the previous mono mono art show. With the snakes? Uh, yeah, with the snakes. And the skulls. Uh, see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. Um, and with, with that, uh, <coughs> I want to either have them on easels or either have them displayed on the wall. And how does that relate to the me, myself, and I? Um, basically, this is just an encompassment of everything that's influenced me and my style of art and what I like as far as uh, subject matter. Uh, whereas series two is just. Uh, you know, influenced by Japanese culture and also uh, the celebratory Dia de los Muertos holiday or uh, celebration. Um, and with series three, what I'd like to do is a new painting. Um, I may say just to hang series one and series two against the wall and have series three down on the floor uh, with myself standing by it so I can give an explanation of it because it'll be an encompassment of everything. Um, but I haven't really thought it thought it out as far as what it's gonna be. I, just, I have a base idea, but um, it may be titled uh, Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace. <laughs> so I have to figure out how to present that. Um, but I'll, I'll be using my style and also I want to stand by that. And when people come up to me, once I explain it, I wanna give them a handout, you know, just saying, uh, you know, stay connected with me. Uh, you know, go here, stay connected with me. Uh, sign up for the newsletter. I'll send them an occasional email. And uh, like in like in times of artists, fifty three. Okay. I want to say something about uh, your snakes. 